Dorian, as a group and as a team, just what's the approach going into this game, knowing that these two games against the Hawks could mean a lot when it comes to the play-in tournament? Um, that's how we're looking at it right there. Um, you know, this could be the the tiebreaker, you know, if, if it comes down to that. And, uh, you know, we know that. So we're we just trying to, you know, we're trying to play in the postseason. So, uh, you know, we had good energy today, and uh, we're trying to get a win tonight. This Hawks team is playing without Trey Young. What stands out about those games that they've played so far without him and what's going to be key for tonight? Um, they're going to be a little bit bigger. Again, you know, Trey, a great, great player, but, you know, you got also, you got Murray who, who had a, you know, who's a great, you know, great guard himself who can also uh, win, them, win them games. And uh, like I said, they still got a, a good team. Um, they bigger and uh, they probably won't be as good offensively, but they're definitely going to be better all defensively, you know, just, just size-wise. So um, it's going to be a good game. Lonnie was saying kind of how the message is that that last game was kind of a wake-up call for you guys. With these last few losses being by double digits, do you guys feel like collectively that road trip was kind of a wake-up call a little bit? Yeah, we, we just can't let our shot-making um, affect our, our overall game and our defense. And, uh, and I feel like that's what, what's been happening. Uh, we've been, you know, missing shots that we usually make, and sometimes it can, it can affect our, you know, our overall game. And, you know, we, we got to let our defense, you know, uh, you know, get us out and get us easy shots. And uh, when we ain't making shots, we got to hold other teams and, and take that as a challenge to really stop other teams from scoring. And then um, last game, I believe you guys had a season high in turnovers. What do you think that's kind of attributed to? Is it more still getting used to each other on offense? Or like you said, the defense starting to affect everything even on the offensive end? Uh, a little bit of both. A little bit of both. Uh, you know, like I said, Coach, they're doing a great job of trying to, you know, make it simple for us. And, you know, as a team, we we you know it's, it, we we the ones out there. So regardless if whatever co plays coaches call, you know, uh, we we got to handle the ball better. You um, know, and that's something we can control. You know, uh, turnovers and our energy, that's stuff that you know the five on the court can control, and it's nothing the coaches could do about that. How do you see, if at all, the preparation kind of change because it's a you know back to back set, two games against the same team, or do you just go about it the same way? Um, just like a playoff game. I look at it like a playoff series. You know, um, whoever whatever happens tonight, I'm pretty sure you know both teams gonna make adjustments and and see and see how it goes from there. How beneficial is it to be in this stretch of time and to be at home? I know the team wants to turn things around and just you'll get a chance to be in front of your home fans and on a court that you guys are really accustomed to to hopefully get those shots falling. Yeah, we we gonna need the fans. Um, I I think just the it's the first game at home since the whole, you know, you know the whole things, you know, all the stuff that's going on, and uh, you know we we, we just want to get this win for them, you know, uh, you know they they give us a lot of good energy in there, and uh, let's try to get this first win, this home win for KO, you know. With the facilitating too, I think you guys obviously you guys the ball moves when Ben plays obviously, but just how do you guys? Try to get that consistency back. Because obviously Ben helps, but just how do you guys get that back after I think a season low in assists last game? Um, you know, again, you no, know, Ben again, he uh he the way he plays is contagious and uh, we definitely missed him out there. But as a team we gotta find ways to, you know, move the ball side to side to, to help us create more easy looks and um uh, it's gonna help everybody out, you know, overall. And did, did anybody after that game, last game in Orlando, did anyone kinda like Specifically, say you know, hey, we got to get right to somebody. Did somebody kind of step up and just say something, or is it collectively? You guys realized that's unacceptable to lose so many games by double digits. Sure, for sure, and, um, as a group, we all knew that game was going to be you no know, tough. They're going to come out and try to punch us in the face because it was a back to back, and um, they did it. And uh, we didn't respond. We didn't respond as well as we thought we would. But you know, as a team, we know we can't. You know, we can't get get beat like that. And uh, you know, uh, we we accept the challenge and. When we, we ain't gonna have that ain't gonna happen again. No, oh, I'm gonna be in foul trouble. <laughs> when you look at the Hawks, they've won their first two games without Trey. What's kind of the boost that some teams get when a top dog goes down and everybody else seizes the opportunity? Like you guys saw it with Cleveland earlier this year. Um, it, it just get guys. Uh, you know, it's gonna give guys uh, chances to you know get 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 more shots. You know, you could probably got Bogdanovich who. You know, coming in the lineup, going to shoot the ball a little bit more. You got Hunter, who's also playing great basketball. So, you know, they got guys who's stepping up. And, uh, 
you know, I'm pretty sure they, they've been waiting for this moment to, to get them shots. And uh, that's just kind of what the NBA is. You know, you got to have a, a team, you know, um, and it's 82 games. I'm, nobody, you know, nobody's going to play 82 no more like they used to. <laughs> so you need, you know, you need those guys to, to step up and, uh, you know, the best teams, the best teams figure it out without their without they stars.